Les voyelles en français sont A, E, I, O, U, Y. Let's learn vowels in French today. And I'm going to give you some visuals so that you can learn how to pronounce them properly to truly sound like a native. In case you don't know me, Rochelle DeMeo from Belter Academy. Donc, les voyelles en français sont A, A, donc A, comme papa, papa, comme ça va, ça va. Ensuite, on a E, 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 comme un dieu, le, ce. Après, on a I, I, comme fi, comme senti, comme ri. Après, on a O, O, comme un po, comme un mot, O. Ensuite, on a U, U, U. Comme dans le mot lumière ou la su, u. Et le y qui peut se prononcer comme un i, comme Cindy ou comme un ye, comme yaourt. Donc y, i, ye. Now let me break these up for you and how this would translate and how this would compare to English vowels. Because they are different, so saying O is O is completely off. There's a difference between O and O, right? So let's look at this a little bit more in depth. If you've already learned something out of this free French lesson, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you click that little bell so you can be notified next upcoming French lessons. So let's dive in. Ah. Ah. So with ah, you want to make sure that your mouth is open wide for ah. And you can hear that it's kind of just short. It's not a or ah, it's ah, ah. So it's almost like you have an H after if you're more of a visual learner. Then we have uh, uh, uh. The only way I can mention it, what I always do when I was teaching college, I would literally have students stand up and be like, you know what? The best way to describe it is somebody punching you in your stomach. What will be your reaction? So if I'm going, then you say, uh, uh. Uh, and it is a little exaggerated. It's a little long. Remember that that's also the audible pause in French is uh. And if you're going to want to learn more about that and how it's used, you're going to want to watch this video next. But the uh sound, the letter E, and the uh is going to be a little bit longer. So uh, and it's really like from your stomach. So again, just think of that visual of somebody punching you in the stomach. Next, we have the E, E. So you might have been taught that E is kind of like the E in English. So the I is like the E in English, like E, but that's kind of a different sound. Listen to the difference between the E and how that's pronounced in English versus E, 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 E. So E, it's a lot in your lips and then it's a lot going to be right in your throat and it's very short, sweet, simple. Next up is the letter O. O, O. So it's all in the inside part of your mouth and you can see how my mouth is placed to project that sound. Oh, oh. So it's not like O, oh, because when you hear it in English, you almost feel like there's a W um, after the O, but in French, there's no W. It's just going to be like an H after it, like oh, oh, oh la la, oh. So that would be something that you could also use as an audible pause. Again, if you want to check out more on audible pauses, you're going to want to watch the second video on audible pauses next. But it's going to be O, U, U. If that doesn't sound like anything that you've heard, it's because this is the first of two hardest letters for English speakers to pronounce in French. The letter U is one of them because U and U is very different because the U sound doesn't exist in English. So you're really going to have to work on that by doing different pronunciations. And one easy one that you can do is simply think of a child's butt. 
Did you know that there's 13 ways to say the word butt in French? That's right, I have a video on it. But a kid's little butt, so cute, little booty, you say cuckoo, cuckoo. So that little word mm, is forcing you to say it twice. So cuckoo or mm, mm, and it is right in your throat. Mm. And you can see by the lip formation how that is being projected out. Mm. So it's a little different than uh, which is more like projecting from your stomach. The uh, is more projecting from your throat. Mm. But of course, you're going to use your diaphragm to be able to push that sound out as well. And then finally, the letter Y is pronounced two different ways, like I mentioned. You can have the letter Y, which is Y. Some consider it as vowel, others don't, up to you. <laughs> but you can have it sound like the E, or it may sound like a U, like the double L in Spanish. So vowels are pretty easy in French, in the sense of like, there's not some weird anything. They're really the way that they look like. So if you learn the way that they look like, you might want to follow me on SoundCloud, where I provide you with different free audios, including these different vowel sounds that you can listen to while you're driving, while you're cooking and doing whatever you're doing, and learn these little by little by listening to them, repeating them. And if you're a visual learner, creating that mental image of how you would pronounce that. If you want me to simplify some French that you've learned that may be tough for you to possibly master, comment below and I would love to create that video for you. I did this one.